So somebody was wanting uh, homemade biscuits today, and I was thinking, my sister actually thought about it. Uh, what goes good with homemade biscuits? Homemade butter. So you can make that many ways with heavy cream. Uh, doesn't have to be fresh from a cow, it can be a carton from a store or something. Uh, so you can use a hand mixer. All you gotta do is beat it real hard and heavy and you're separating the milk fat from the milk. You can use a butter churn and go full on little house on the prairie. I don't think any of us got that kind of time. Uh, you put it in a jar, shake the jar. Um, what I have is a food processor. And I I'm gonna to try to use the food processor to beat the cream in the submission and give us some butter. We'll see what happens. What I have is a quarter cream. Each pint costs, I think, $4.50. It's not real expensive. And this is just regular heavy whipping cream like you put in coffee or mashed potatoes or whatever. Nothing fancy. See what happens. Hopefully I don't make a mess and blow shit all over the kitchen. And now we wait. <laughs> I'll time it and see how long it takes. All right, so we've got heavy whipping cream and we've whipped it up really thick. So after about four minutes or so, it is starting to form butter. I'll show you guys that. Oh. So we got a little ways to go, not too long. And this little thing ain't even really all that powerful. It's just like a little, I don't know, four cup kitchen aid, maybe six cups. The butter's formed in less than 10 minutes. So let's get this off here. See what we got, how much we got. Done pretty good. Let it slip or reef. All right, so out of a quart of cream, I mean, there's a whole lot of milk fat there. So what we gotta do, we have to try.
to get all the fluid out of it. Once we do that, we can rinse it. Now what we have left over here, this buttermilk, you can use that for baking your bread, whatever you'd use regular milk for. And you can use cheesecloth and stuff to do this and save your paper towels. <coughs> this is just what I had on hand. Now we rinse it. We dry it real good. Now, we season it. I like salt and butter. Now we'll dry it again. It'll get rancid pretty quick if you don't get all that water off it. And that was a whole lot of butter. I'm starting to think I probably should have just got one pint of cream. But, need all your water out of it. Rinse it. Dry it off. Get it dry. You need to get all that old milk off it and just keep the fat because the fat will keep a long time. This is good for keto diets for your fat bombs in your coffee, stuff like that. I know some of you was asking me for keto stuff. Butter's good for a lot of stuff, real butter. So, Let's see what we got. That's delicious. All right, we'll be doing a video right after this. We're gonna be making some homemade biscuits. We'll put that on there. Should be pretty good.